So, today dropped the spin-off, uh, yeah, I guess you can call this a spin-off of, uh, Ocean's Eleven, which is Ocean's Eight, the female version. We'll get into that a little bit later. Anyway, I like this cast. The cast looks amazing. Sandra Bullock, I'm not really that big of a fan of hers, but she was in Speed. Speed was one of my favorite action movies from the 90s. Keanu, um... <laughs> but yeah, she's in a Kate Blanchett, who we just saw in Thor Ragnarok, uh, and Hathaway, um, oh goodness, Rihanna, for the millennials out there. <laughs> but it's, it's got a really, really good cast. So, I'm actually, I've been intrigued by this film, so I'm interested to see the take that they're going to take on this, um, you know, being a female version of Ocean's Eleven, and how it's really going to tie in to that universe. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check this out and see what Ocean's 8 is all about. Good afternoon, Miss Ocean. As you know, parole is a privilege. A mistake. Uh, but it happened. And um, if I were to be released, I would... Um, I would just want a simple life. I just want to hold down a job, make some friends. Yeah, anybody else? Even if this was possible, it would be 20 people. Seven people? Why do you need to do this? Because it's what I'm good at. How long would it take you to make seven pieces of jewelry? If I just about it. How long if I told you you didn't have to live with your mother anymore? Just need the water bus for the dinner here. Bless. <laughs> it kind of what? What's your name? Abel. Oh, yeah. We could make all this go away. So that's the uh, George Clooney and Brad Pitt version. And Brad as well? Sorry. It's okay. Thank you, Kim. Sarah Paulson, that's what it is. In three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball. So we are going to rob it. Not the ball itself, the net of Daphne Kruger. Value that over a hundred million dollars. It's a hundred and fifty million. I think it's really Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird ending to that, but um, I like it. It looks, it looks. Uh, I mean, again, I'm a fan of the Ocean's franchise. I like 11 and 13, 12. We won't talk about. Um, so again, like I said, I've been interested to see the take that they're, that they're going to do with this female version. I keep doing that because I just don't like the fact that they're taking these franchises and doing and, and just trying to do like a quote unquote female version of it. And to me, it's, it feels a little bit disingenuous and it's a little off putting um, that, you know, you just can't make a film that is, you know, a female caper film. You know, you have to tie it into something else uh, to make it identifiable. And I think this movie could live on its own just by making a, a caper film with all with an all female cast. And I think it's going to go through the same thing that Ghostbusters went through. All, albeit that movie wasn't that great in my opinion. It had nothing to do with the female cast. Um, and actually, I thought it was a fantastic cast um, in Ghostbusters. That movie just didn't live up to what it could have been or should have been. But um, I don't know. But with this, 
I got a feeling that this movie is going to get that same type of backlash, uh, which is undeserving. Um, and I, anyway, that that's a whole another issue. But just based on this, um, it, it gets me a little bit more interested. I'm not like overly excited for it, but because I'm a fan of the original Ocean's movie with George Clooney, and it does tie into it. I think this is uh, Sandra Bullock is supposed to be his sister. Um, I, I like the cast. Uh, Kate Blanchett can do no wrong. Anne Hathaway, I thought she was actually going to be part of the team, but she looks like she's kind of playing the Andy Garcia, Julia Roberts role in the original Ocean's Eleven. Uh, but I would have liked to have seen her be part of that team. But regardless, it's still a great, great cast in this movie. So I'm excited for it, man. I'm excited to see... Um, you know, because I'm not the biggest Sandra Bullock fan, but I want to see what she's going to bring, you know, and, and doing something like this. This looks like it, it definitely has that vibe and that feeling that Soderbergh brought uh, to Ocean's Eleven. So I don't. I hope Gary Ross is just not trying to uh, emulate or copy that. I want him to kind of bring his own flavor and his own style to it. But I like how they're at least making the tone a little bit similar to something that we're familiar with. Again, it's, it's all about um, these IPs being identifiable to the mass audience. So you have to kind of link it or hook it to something that people can uh, can relate it to. Um, unfortunately, that's how movies are nowadays. But anyway, um, I, color me intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued to see this. So I'm excited. I think June 8th, uh, Ocean's Age and Age. I think that's when it comes out anyway. Uh, go ahead and let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks at Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am uh, The Turtle Dork. And with that, I'm out.